Hi everyone and welcome back to my series on how to make an action RPG in Godot 4. In this episode, we will take a deeper look into the tile map terrains, we will look at how tiles can belong to multiple terrains, how we can use alternative tiles and how we can rotate and mirror tiles. And now let's get started. Ok, so for this tutorial, I will be using the match corners terrain mode. This is just to make everything a bit simpler and more beginner friendly. But adding tiles to more than one terrain works basically the same, no matter which mode you choose. First, I quickly set up the light sand tiles that we also used the last time. Next, I add a new terrain to our terrain set and name it dark sand. I also set the color here to something with a bit more contrast compared to the color of the dark sand. Now, we want to be able to have large areas of the light and dark sand next to each other and also a bit mixed together. So we go to the paint section of the tileset menu, choose to paint terrain and set terrain to be our new dark sand terrain. And then we paint the same border tiles as we used for the light sand terrain. Only, now the dark areas are the floors we want to paint and the light areas are the walls that we won't paint. I also paint this tile here that's fully dark. Now let's go use our terrains on our tile map. I first create a large rectangle of dark sand and then a smaller with the light sand inside the dark and then a bit of the dark into the light again. I think this works really well. but. There are two things here that doesn't look quite right. First, there's this problem. This happens because these two tiles with light sand is surrounded by dark sand. And because we use the simpler match corners mode, we can't add the tiles that is used for single lines of one terrain like this. Instead, I just cover it with dark sand as well. The second problem here is really just a human error on my part. I forgot to add the tiles with two corners opposite each other. I'm just gonna fix that quickly by painting the two missing tiles with both terrains. And there we go. Now everything works as expected. I also want to add a grass terrain, so we can connect the dark sand to the grass. However, we only have these three tiles that can be used to connect the two. So we need to use something called alternative tiles. But let's first create a new terrain called grass and paint the grass tiles that we have so far. Then go to select and right click on one of the connecting tiles and choose create an alternative tile. Do this for all three tiles with both grass and dark sand on them. Let's go check out the new alternative tiles we made. You can find them to the right of the base tiles. When we select the tile, we can then mirror it and rotate it using the rendering properties. And we can add a new alternative tile of the same kind by clicking on the big plus signs. We can then use this to create the tiles that were missing for our grass terrain. And then paint the tiles with the terrain patterns. We paint with both the grass and the dark sand. Remember to also paint the dark sand parts of the original tiles. And now, let's go use our terrains again. Setting up terrains like this might seem like a lot of work sometimes, but can really be quite helpful in the long run. But whoops, a little human error again. I'm just gonna go paint the middle part of the grass tiles with the grass terrain to fix this. This looks a bit better, I think. The last thing I want to tell you about is the difference between creating a new terrain and a new terrain set. So far, we've just used one single terrain set and added new terrains to it. Like this. But you can also use the Add Element button below here to add a new terrain set. If we go to the Paint menu, we now have two terrain sets to choose from, and they each have their own list of terrains. However, if you want a tile to be a part of several terrains, 
then these terrains have to be a part of the same set. Painting with a terrain from another set will remove the previously created pattern. And that's all for this video. I just want to let you know that I might turn down how often I release new episodes for this series just a bit. Don't worry, this tutorial series will continue for a long long time. I just also have other video ideas I want to explore further. I might even try to create a few devlogs for my own game at some point, who knows. But please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel if you want more content like this. Bye!